step up and be the leader of this team early on? You know, for me, we still got Howie here. We already got Zeus. We got Max, uh, Strong. I mean, that, these guys are, are, are really good, good leaders, man. And they come out every day and they, they compete every day. Um, so they're not going to One for sixty, Jesus. If you like that one, what about starting extra innings with a runner in scoring position? Because that's where the small ball stuff will come along. But a little bit more on the DH first. This is the difference with and without a DH among National League camps. So in other words, in interleague play. And as you can see, all the offense. What's going on, Thomas? How's it going, buddy? Yo. Try to show you on this dimple right here. It's on the top of his helmet. Nah, it's not going to show up. Yeah, 
Looks good. I'm doing pretty good, man. Uh, busy work day. Doing all right. Excited to open up these Top's Finest flashbacks. This one's off left to right. You can see the gap right here versus the gap over here. First thing I do is I check the eye test, give it the eye test. You can tell in the back it's also off top to bottom, which is the same print left to right as the front. That just means it was miscut. I also kind of look at the corners to see how well the the corner you can easily, the, the easiest way to see is the gap right there. If you kind of just block the rest of the card, you can obviously see, to see the border here is uh, smaller than the border here. I think you do the same thing on that side. It's a little harder on a rounded, rounded corners, but you can see it's off-centered. So what I did for this one is I, you know, look at centering. Centering looks good. Um, and look at the corners. Make sure the corners are sharp and the edges. Edges all look good. And then, actually, this one's off a little bit top to bottom. I didn't see that. Um, and then look at the surface. You gotta make sure all the surface, you know, take the light and use the glare to uh, to really show and highlight, you know, if there's any imperfections. A lot of them aren't noticeable at first. You, know, you just have to catch the light. Um, wax is a little easier than uh, some chrome cards, but keep your eye out for that stuff. I mean, with cards like this, you know, all four corners are rounded. I just kind of look at the card and just kind of give it, you know, um, does it look dead center? It looks pretty centered. The back will give it away. Uh, the back looks off top to bottom. The front looks all right. Cuba. I'll probably hold on to that one. Hold on, uh, wait a little while. See how it looks. Nuclear, yeah, all spots are taken for tonight's breaks, buddy. Sorry. We're gonna get break in here in about half an hour. This one's off left to right. See the gaps at the bottom. That one looks all right, but a little bit still off centered. Probably nines. Uh, on these cards for the 2020, um, unless you know a reference for the card itself, like um, like Bobby Witt, you know you can obviously see the the ball position on the card, uh, and you can tell there's supposed to be a gap there. Like 2018, you have your dots, you can kind of tell where that center is supposed to be. Uh, on this one, I used the rookie shield. So trying to make sure that the gap between the shield and the edge of the card versus the tip of the shield and the edge of the card is centered. Um, I usually bring out the scope for this one because it's just too hard to see. It's too small of a gap. Yeah, that one's off. No point in sending these cards in and grade them if they're not going to gem. That one looks good. I'm gonna check the edges and surface, make sure everything's good. Corners. Scherzer's getting roughed up right now, man. He's dealing, too. It's Yankees are going to be deadly this year, especially if they stay healthy. This one looks good. 
What's up, Antoine? What's up, Aaron? How's it going, guys? Who's excited to open some cards? I know I am. Centering looks good on this guy as well. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, talk about just powerhouse pitching. Garrett Cole versus Max Scherzer, that's, that's a pretty good way to start the season. Who thinks the National League DH is a good idea? I know a lot of purists or baseball purists are against it. Yankee investments? I mean, you heard of a guy named Jason Dominguez? He's all right. I mean, some people like him. I'm hoping so, man. So I'm kind of, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of blowing through some cards and checking the, I'm going to get and preparing my new, my next sub and, um, you know, I'm kind of, I need to start working through some of these. So giving him the work through. This one's definitely not. This one's way off center. Let's see how that looks actually. So you can actually see how much bat is showing versus here versus there. So you can have a lot more black on the barrel versus that cuts off at the handle. But this one's definitely off. You can see the size of the gap on this side versus that side over here on the, the name tag. Three Louis out of all these ones we're going to send in. These ones did not pass the test. Yeah, I pulled all those. This guy tested positive for the COVID. Probably going to miss about three to four weeks I would say that's gonna be a lot of a lot of service time he's gonna miss um, this one obviously has a border issue there so that one's not gonna pass grade it's also off center quite a bit which one this one <laughs> When I pulled this one out, I was super bummed because it looked like it's supposed to be an auto right there. I thought I got gypped. I'm excited to see May pitch, dude. Uh, I'm really, I think it's a good call going with May. You know, it shows, because obviously he's, uh, he only pitched, what, seven games last year. It's a really good chance to see, uh, kind of give him a vote of confidence. The kid got some wicked. He's got. He's just. He's gonna be an absolute monster. Two out of fifty. With the pink pulsar, Davin Reed. Obviously, this one's really easy to check centering. You can see how small the gap is versus this one. That's a nine all day long. Yeah, but you know, like especially if you give, if you put him out in front, you know, if you get a win with your rookie pitcher uh it i mean imagine how like what a what a, what a start that's going to be for him to start his career off of giving him an opening day start if he gets the win you know like 
that, that that's going to look really good for him going forward. And it also, you know, puts the team up on his shoulders a little bit. There's a few basketball. RJ Barrett. Yeah, I probably won't sub these ones anyways. A few RJs. Stuff. So the centering on these guys left and right, it's just basically using that her the, the horizon right here, checking the gap between those two. It's really simple. Top to bottom is a little different. You can kind of go between the name plate and the ba the badge or the shield. Green Rui. This one's off left to right. Not by much. I'll probably spend some time going through those ones. Not the one, not what I really want to get to. I think these optics are really going to be some nice cards. Uh, yeah, I pulled most of these, man. Gotten pretty lucky. Yeah, the problem is none of these look none of these look very good on centering. My favorite color. You can ask my favorite movie and or you ask them like what my what's my favorite color parallel. Is this a first date? Donner's is pretty simple. I, I it gives you four corners to work with, you know. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, you can give it the really like just looking at it. You know, try to see the whole card. Kind of don't focus on one thing, and you can generally generally see where it sits. And you also got the tool if you need that too, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to guess my passwords. My mother's maiden name, uh, my first grade school teacher's name. No, not usually. I usually don't uh, inserts. Definitely not. I mean, it depends on what it is. Like, there's this couple of spanning the globes uh, that I liked with Jason and Joe Adele. Um, some of my players, I think I'll I'd probably grade grade a couple of those. I sent a couple of spanning the globe Jasons off to uh, BGS because they are. I'm kind of hoping I can get a black label out of them. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, the difference between the uh, uh, the great uh, this is a, a card saver uh, two, and this is a card saver one. You can see the size difference there. Uh, you definitely want to use these guys to submit in. So all all cards you send to BGS or PSA, make sure they're in these guys right here. Penny sleeve top, uh, sorry, um, and uh, card saver. Nothing else. Um, 
put them in a box just like this. Put them, uh, wrap them up with some a rubber band and maybe a, I don't know, a sleeve or something, and that's it. Nothing else. It's the top loader. Don't send PSA or BGS top loaders or card savers or lunch baggies or trash bags. Just like this. That's it. And make sure you pay for insurance for your cards when you're sending them in. At least for half of them, you know. If you're expecting to get cards back, you know, that's worth like five grand. Um, you know, cover and cover yourself, you know. Make sure you, you know, pay at least half of that. I saw some. I saw this trout. You know the Ricky Medallion. I think it sold for like two hundred and fifty bucks, and I was like, from PSA, I was, I was thinking that was like a five dollar card. I didn't know people would pay that much money for these little guys. But I'm gonna have a look at those. These are the cards I need to get to. Don't ever tape your cards, guys. I mean, painter's tape is fine, but definitely not uh, scotch tape, duct tape, sports tape. Super bummed about that. See that little blemish right there? Right next to my finger, next to his shoulder. It's a drag. What do you guys think, grade Quindari? I think I was going to grade all my silvers from now on. Except for this one, because that one's got us. Looks like a fly got in the machine on this one. That is not going to do well. Back to the sleeve you go. You guys see that uh, Clayton Kershaw is out on the, I, uh, the IR right already? Back pain. Obviously, we're talking about uh, Dustin May getting the start. This one's off a tad left, left or right. Yeah, I got, I got. 2018 tops. This one's off too. Paninis get their shit together. Angels and Dodgers, Ryan. What's up, Zach? Sorry, I forgot that Zach needs to be uh, acknowledged every couple minutes. 
Just to make sure he's okay, you know? <laughs> that one's nice. So pull this, like, so basically, you know, it's like I'm, I'm leaving the, the card inside the penny sleeve. Don't take it out unnecessarily because that part right there will kind of, it, anytime you're risking chance to, or risking, uh, messing up a corner and edge the more you take it in and out of the sleeve so leave it in the only reason i'm taking it out right now is because i saw a fingerprint right here that's all i really do right now is uh, when i'm trying to clean the cards is uh get the fingerprints off any kind of dust or particles if there's any kind of like fuzz in the card again that stuff just comes off it's part of the print the cut when they uh, or package so just kind of give the wipe down and that's that's essentially all when you when you send them in to um guys to to clean your cards you know like when you pay the extra dollar per card this is literally all they're doing is they're, they're wiping the card with one of these lens cloths to clean off your fingerprints and dust particles and making sure your edges are good so i mean, literally that's all you're doing that's all they're doing there's nothing else they can do besides that say something important then zach Love you too, buddy. And if something like that doesn't come off, obviously it's not going to grade well. You can see that very easily. Uh, for top to bottom, obviously left to right, you're just looking at the dots right here on the sides and giving them, you know, you need equal sides there. On this one, you're looking from the, the print of the team name uh, to the top line, basically uh, above the, the rookie shield. That number should be pretty equal. This one's off like a millimeter, maybe. I don't know if it's enough. The PSA will care. Um, if the rest of the card looks good, I'd probably send this in. And just so you guys know, on the surface for these, you know, you have all these print lines in the back. You can see those right there going across the black. Um, BGS is very strict on that. I mean, they're, they're really tough. But PSA is quite a bit more forgiving on that stuff. I don't know why. No doubt. I mean, just clean up the dust. Make sure the card's free of fingerprints. Don't eat cheeseburgers before you do this. Alright, I'm going to do the rest of these later. Since we only got 10 minutes before we start breaking cards. So out of all of those, these are the only ones that I think so far qualify, so um, the rest will go back into boxes. So you take your cards, you rubber band them up. Don't send them in bubble mailers. Just pay the extra money. Um, I I prefer uh, small flat rate boxes. It's eight bucks. You get a hundred dollars with insurance built into it. Um, pay however much extra insurance you feel comfortable with. Um, if you want to gamble, don't use any apparently, um, or obviously. Um, if you want to, you know, just play it safe. Five hundred. Like say, if you lost your entire shipment. Um, 
add on whatever amount of money you think you want to get back for that if it's lost. It's a dollar per a hundred dollars of insurance, I think. A ratio of cards. I submit that I don't. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what I did here is I've got you know my entire desk set up with potential grades that I've kind of pulled out for uh, the next sub and. I would say out of these, I would say maybe 10%, I think, were grade worthy. Um, you know, I said pull out a card um, like this Brandon Clark or Clarky, how he spells it. Um, so I was putting that in the pile and I go through it. And I'll, after, I, after I comb over them, I would say, yeah, it's pretty low. Uh, card saver ones from um, Gold something something gold cardboard gold but I have but Zach I have a I, I sub like my my submission percentages out of the cards that I want to submit are pretty low but I have a really high gem mint ratio um, I've never gotten an eight don't I've only gotten nines and tens and I'd say I probably get 90 to 95 percent maybe close even higher of gem versus uh, anything else versus nines so in my opinion it's worth the uh, the extra scrutiny All right, let me clean these up a little bit get these out of the way and uh, we'll start That's not a good sign. COVID and then Randy's, Jesus. So a really good tip um, when you're looking at P uh, PSA pop reports is to look at the ratios of nines to tens. Um, so if you've seen a card that 75% of the cards grade either a 9 or a 10. It's a really good uh, sub if the 9s grade above the cost of the card plus the grading fee. So let's say it's a $50 card and it costs $15 to grade it. Um, if a PSA 9 goes for $70, then it's a pretty good reason to grade it, um, especially if the, the jam rate is higher than the 9, even by a little bit. Well, like even like the Luca Donris, you know, like the, the like the it's like seventy seven percent of of cards that have been submitted have been gem, um, which is absolutely inc insane high. Who wanted this reddish? Was that you, Ryan? I have all these like relics um, that I don't really know what to do with. I, I'm not a big fan of relics um, unless it's like a bat knob or something cool. Exactly, Zach. Yeah. No, that's not correct, Ryan. So the uh, they should have no favoritisms no matter like if a card like so right now like uh, let's say call a, a 2020 bowman sapphire and there's been a hundred jasons and they've all graded gem they're not going to tighten the curve just because you know they've already graded so many so high 
it goes it can conversely the same way so if you have uh you know like the 1989 ken griffey jr like there's only a few that have ever graded gem mint but there's been over probably close to 20,000 submitted for grading they're not gonna just because so mint so little have graded they're not gonna up that number just to just to up it PSA 10 Zion Prism base, according to Pop Report. Dude, I have no idea. Um, I'm going to guess. Uh, I'll, I'll guess 4,000. You have to let me know how close I am, though. My original, I was thinking like six or seven, but I want to go a little high. I want to go a little lower because it seemed too high. 8,400 gem 10s. Well, how many gem 10 Mike Trouts are there? I think there's, what, 10,000 gem 10. I know there's a ton. Like, there's like 12, 13,000 Acunas and like 12,000 Sotos. It's pretty crazy. But... Um, 2018 was a really solid print run. All right, guys, it's almost six o'clock. Hello, good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, welcome to the break live stream for card brokers. We're gonna do a couple of breaks tonight. We have uh, a six box uh, blaster for 2019 20 Panini Prism. Uh, obviously, looking for uh, Zion and John Morant's. Uh, numbered parallels, silvers, autographs, etc. And then we're also going to do two boxes of 2020 Tops Finest flashbacks. Uh, this is a remake, or sorry, a reimagining of the 1993 uh, Finest. This was 1993 was the very first refractor um, and chromium cards. That's kind of what gives it the the chrome, obviously, on the print. Forty nine hundred eighteen. Okay, I was way off. Jesus. Maybe I was just kind of mixing that up with the uh, Acuna and Soto and Glaber. All right, guys. So we're gonna start off with uh, the Prism, since I think that's what most of you guys are here for. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, randomize uh, a team list versus um, uh, the entrance. Hundred and ten for six prism RJs. Yeah. Uh, and so you guys know the two boxes left on the uh, the mosaic hobbies. Those are. Uh, coming in probably sometime next week, um, I'm hoping at least. Um, and as soon as they get there, get here, um, we'll we'll start uh, running those out. I think there's a few spots left as well. All right, you guys. Um, 
let's get this going. So this is the 2019-2020 uh, Prism. Uh, these are all the entries into this one. Uh, I kind of abbreviate these names a little bit, so um, sorry about that. So we have Cortez all the way down to Rose. Let me grab these team names, actually. Sorry. All right, guys, if you're ready, let's go. Let's get this started. I'm going to roll this dice, and however many of this rolls up is how many times we're going to randomize the teams and how many times we're going to randomize the entrance lists. So good luck to everybody. Let's start. Big number two. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with the uh, the names. Actually, let's start with the teams. Apologize. So that's one and two. So we got the Pelicans. The Grizzlies. And these are the guys that are going to be in this one. So we're going to randomize this two times. One. Two times. Harold Slaga at the 30 spot, all the way up to Seoul, 9.5. I'll get this post in just a second, guys. And Rose sends his apologies if he ends up uh, hitting the Grizzlies or Pelicans. He insists he's not cheating. He's not paying me any extra. Sorry, this list is way too big and I'm not gonna block up half the screen. So give me a second, let me delete these uh, numbers and cities real quick. All right, so we got uh, Grizzlies goes to Soul 9.5. Hornets to Extra, Nets to Extra, Wizards to Zmeed, Heat to Sir Yeet, uh, Clippers to Extra, Sixers to Galvez, Pistons to Amp, Suns to Dougal, Hawks to Amp, Knicks to Haros Laga, Celtics to Galvez, uh, Jazz go to Amp, Lakers to Dark Jew, um, Spurs to Soul. Bulls to Galvez, Kings to Cortez, Rockets to Yurt, Bucks to Amp, uh, Trailblazers to the Dark Jew, uh, Warriors to Camel, Nuggets to Rose, Raptors to Galvez, Timberwolves to Beachhead, Cavs to Dwight, Thunder to Dwight, Mavericks to Galvez, Magic to Antoine, Pacers to DJ Vish. And the Pelicans go to Harold Slaga. There's the list. Yeah, we got Rui with the uh, the Wiz. All right, guys, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like these boxes are heat. By the way, uh, thanks to Juice, 
uh, hooked it up with these boxes. Uh, gave us a good enough price to where I can resell these and break these up for you guys. So thank you, Juice. And up and rain stuff so we can watch some more baseball. I thought this would be fun. I can watch sports while I'm breaking. Yeah, so I, I, I bought a big ass box of like 200 pairs of these gloves for. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. So it's. Uh, I haven't. I, it would take me a little minute to actually sort these things out. Um, to, cause I have to get rid of the numbers in order to sort by the team name and by the username so I have to delete all the the numbers it would take me a minute if you want me to do it if you guys don't care um, but otherwise it's gonna take a minute you know unless I have an idea give me one second here because I'm accommodating let me see if I can try something out real quick Dodgers versus the Yankees. All right. <laughs> That's how we do it, man. Everybody's gonna pull fire tonight. Everybody's gonna hit some cards. Let's have some fun. It's uh, it's we got six boxes uh at at a good price. Every spot's gonna hit an auto. <laughs> Every spot's gonna hit a silver. Just kidding, guys. I cannot guarantee that, obviously. It's so not easy with these fucking gloves. Oh, that's kind of the point of card brokers uh, sneaker uh, sneaker tricks is to to help out those who have no idea how to get into this or what the what their interests are for this uh, hobby. Luckily, you have Zach in chat. He's the moderator. You'll see him with the blue wrench. He'll be able to answer questions or point you in the direction. Uh, I do believe membership is closed for, at the, the time being, but I know that he opens up some spots for membership every once in a while. All right, this is for you, um, whoever wanted me to do this. All right, you wanted it sorted by a username, right?
There you go. I need to stop using Notepad so I can actually sort this better so it doesn't look all ridiculous like that. Yeah, I'm using Excel, but the Excel I, I, I format. Anyways, it's it is what it is. It does the trick. Uh, we got it on screen, so you can see what card, what what teams you guys got. So, all right, well, that was enough chit chat. That was a long enough delay. So it's good enough. It is what it is. I'll look at fixing it later. Uh, let's break some cards open because I know you guys are anxious. So let's start with box number one. Uh, good luck, everybody. Was there any trades, by the way, guys? I'm not sure if you guys had any trades trade you wanted to get going. Um, usually we hit the teams. It's not something anybody else wants to trade for. Uh, the list over here is the teams, and the names next to the teams are who gets what teams. So, for instance, every card I pull out of these six boxes uh, of Hornets will go to extra. Every card, uh, every Bucks card or every Mags uh, card is going to go to Amp. Any Suns card is going to go to Dougal, etc. All right, each blaster box, six cards. Sorry, six packs with four cards in each pack. Good luck, everybody. CJ McCollum, and it looks like we hit the relic in the very first box. Brooke Lopez and Cam Reddish. That looks vaguely familiar. I mean, not not a bad relic to hit. So that's for the Hawks. Congrats, CJ McCollum. Uh, we got a silver in this pack. Danny Green for the Lakers. Drew Holiday. Evan Fournier. Saw the blue, kind of got excited. Might have been a Grizz and a Jordan Bone. Well, that's that's a pretty good way to, to, to run this thing through. Congrats to the Grizzlies. Soul 9.5. My man. Buddy Held. Devin Booker. And John Morant. Congrats to the Grizz. Soul 9.5. I th we've we've hit so few John Morants. I am super happy that we got him in the very first box. Congrats. That thing looks cherry, too. Marcus Smart, Whiteside, Goga, Green Prism of the Instant Impact, and John Henson. Uh, this is a very rare insert. Um, I'll random this off at the end, or I'll probably just give it to Zach. Actually, might need to top load. Might actually might need to top load that. There we go. Congrats to whoever gets that in the random. Steph Curry for the Warriors. 
Eric Gordon, Cam Reddish for the Hawks with the silver instant impact. Cam Reddish is tearing it up. And Lucas Amanek. And last pack in box one. <laughs> Seriously. Now right, you got another silver here. Good luck. Anthony Davis. Not a bad silver to pull. And Rajon on the back. Uh, this, uh, this card goes to the Lakers, even though he's wearing a Pelicans jersey. So congrats to the Lakers, the Dark Jew. Uh, that's box one. Moving on to box two. Oh, we got another one. Nice. Chris Dot. And I got a silver of Jaleel Okafor. For Nolans and Jordan Bone. Second Jordan Bone for the Pistons. Uh, Lucas so oh geez two for two boys let's see if we can get a runner runner if there's a silver in this or a parallel usually when there's a Jabari Parker and another is Ja Morant man that spot's paying off pretty nicely for you right now soul both those look perfectly too centered too All right, guys, good night. Thanks for being here. Nothing else to see. Julius Randle, Steph Curry, John Henson. Another Luca Semanic on the back. LeBron James and a James Harden silver dominance. Every insert we've had has been a silver. Or a green. Now right, we got another silver. That looks like RJ Barrett. With Raj on the back. RJ Barrett Silver. Let's go for the Knicks. These cards look really nice, too. Who's got the Knicks? Harold Slaga, congrats. We're not done yet. Kevin Garnett. Congrats. And Kevin Love. Now you get the thick sleeve out. He was trying to trade the Knicks. Oh, man. Somebody should have bought it from him. Box three. We're a couple of uh, Zion short here of being stellar. But we'll get there pretty soon. <laughs> as long as Zach strikes out, we're all doing good. Dragic Silver.
Gordon Hayward, Draymond, Thomas Bryant, and Grant Williams with the Celtics. Batum, Damian Lillard, Hyped, and Javal McGee. It's a $100 card right there. You know what? I'm going to sleeve that up for you. Just because you guys are crazy. <laughs> All right, we got another silver coming up. Ty Jerome, the Phoenix Suns, and Lonzo on the back. All right, here's our relic. Paul George. D'Angelo Russell, DeAndre Hunter, Andre Drummond. All right, that was box three. Box four coming up. Good luck, you guys. Oh, look at that. Back-to-back -back boxes. Larry Bird. There's a Romeo Langford and a Bulbul. Son of the great and late and great Manute. I think he went to uh, high school right down the street from me. Modern day. Larry Nance, Troy Brown. There's LeBron James hyped. And Lonzo Ball behind that. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas Yao Ming Romeo Jackson Hayes. This is box four, yes. Uh, Roberto. Jordan Poole. Enos Cantor. This is the relic. Westbrook, Kyle Anderson, Jabal McGee, Enos Cantor. Not what we're looking for on that one. Box five. Good luck, you guys. Andre, Covington, uh, Kobe Bryant, finalists, and Chandler on the back. For the Lakers again. Bowl Bowl Silver. All right, be careful what you wish for. Goga and Cody Martin. Kobe Bryant. Patrick Ewing Silver and Chris Middleton. Damn, why do I keep on going up there? A lot of Lakers for sure. Tire the hair on the back. That goes to the Miami Heat. Sir Yeet.
what was that t uh, the hero I, I I hit last time? Um, it was the hyper right? It was like the hyper prism, I think it was. That was nice. Thaddeus on the back, Grant Hill on the front, and uh, Matisse Thibel. I think it's Zach's favorite player. All right, for the relic. And it's going to be James Harden. Nice. And Akil Alexander Walker in the back. It's not a bad looking card at all. All right, we're going down to the final box, guys. Uh, we haven't hit a Zion yet. Let's get a Zion. Big silver. Do we have an auto finally? I think we might have an auto. Jackson Hayes. Steph Curry, upside down cards. Wendell Carter Jr. You're gonna do it again to me. Jaw Morant, instant impact. That's three jaws for the break tonight. Out of six boxes. Harry Giles, Nasir Little, Alex Len, Atlanta. Damn it. All right, now that's the relic. Damn it, why are they? RJ Barrett, Chumo Kiki, and Langston Galloway. Knicks had a good spot tonight. The silver and a base. Isaiah Thomas again. Rodion Crooks, I think. I don't know. And last pack. Nick Claxton. And our relic is... Ball ball. Three ball balls for tonight. And Kent Bazemore. Oh, man. We did not hit a Zion. I'm sorry, guys. I think the best spot in this break, obviously, was uh, the Grizzlies. All right, so our relics, KG, BB, James Harden, Cantor, Drummond, and Reddish. And our hits for the night, Nick Claxton, RJ Barrett, Ja Morant, Thibel, Tyler Harrow, Patrick Ewing Silver, Kobe, Kobe, Jackson Hayes, Yao, Jerome, RJ Silver, LeBron, Ja Morant, Anthony Davis Silver, Cam Reddish, and another Ja. Why can't we not have Ja and Zion on the same break? It's just not, it's not right. All right, now we got Top's Finest Flashbacks. We got two boxes. We're going to randomize a team for each box. So bear with me just a minute here while I pull up the list.
It seriously was, wasn't it? No, oh, Thomas jumping in, just going to grab that that uh, that Barrett while it's available. Undervalued R.J. Barrett. Where's my last randomizer? All right, we're going to roll the dice nine times. We'll start off with the teams. Good luck, everybody. Three, four. You can't have the Dodgers. I'm getting the Dodgers. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Uh, if you guys, if you guys missed, um, send me a DM real quick, and we'll talk. All right, we're gonna do the names now. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Give me a second. Let me clean this list up real quick. Yeah, I'll have to start doing this in a different format. And here's your team list. All right, so we got the Mets uh, all the way down to the Tigers. BFOS down to Rare. Um, I will trade anything for the Dodgers or the Angels. Anybody wants the Angels or the Dodgers or wants to get rid of the Angels or the Dodgers? I got the Yankees. Anybody want the Yankees? Red Sox. Yeah, sounds good, Thomas. Confirm.
Cool. Alright, anybody else for box one? I don't think uh, end with more is going to give me the Dodgers. It doesn't sound like sad about it. Alright, here we go. Box one. Best of luck. All right, so this is the box here, uh, 18 packs, five cards. They've made very, very few of these. Um, I was expecting two more of these boxes to come in. I probably wouldn't have done this break if I knew those boxes weren't coming in. Uh, got canceled on me, so um, they made very, very little of these. This is a very exclusive box, so much so that a Super Fractor is one in every 5,765 packs. That's very, 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 ex ex incredibly low. Uh, each box, obviously, so one in 18, uh, you get a refractor and a gold refractor. And then one out of 36 is a black refractor. So we sh uh, theoretically, we should hit uh, at least one black refractor. Uh, we also have box topper as well. We'll save that for last. Good luck, you guys. So the green uh, finest is all, uh, obviously the All-Stars. Max Kepler. Carlos Santana. Matt Face. And Giancarlo Stanton. No problem, man. You got it. Steven Matz. Justin Verlander. Sam Hilliard. Logan Allen. And Kevin Kiermeyer. Obviously, the, the one that everybody's chasing right here is the White Sox. Who got the White Sox? Craig. Craig got the White Sox. See if we can hit Craig, uh, Luis Robert, Hunter Dozier, Max Scherzer, probably getting a loss tonight, Josh Hader. Actually, they haven't gone uh, regulation, I don't think. What inning were they in? Were the fourth? I think they have to play an entire four or five innings. Clayton Kershaw on the injured reserve. Giolito, Leba, and Chris Davis, the man who bats, what, 267 every year? Something crazy like that. He batted the exact same batting average like three, three years in a row or something crazy. Crazy statistics. Garrett Cole, the other pitcher for tonight, probably going to get the W if they finish the or qualify the game. Patrick Corbin, Austin Riley. Chris Archer, these cards are freaking beautiful. All right. We haven't hit our refractor yet. Nick Senzel, Edmund. There's a Nico Horner for the Cubs. Nice Nico. Alzale and Buster Posey. Who's at the Cubs? Oh, I do. Brandon Crawford, Ben Attendi, Munoz, Ari Stades Aquino for the Reds. Goes to Craig. Craig has the Reds as well. Nice. If we can get you a Lewis now to go with it.
All right, here's our gold. Let's save that. So we got Cabrera and Kevin Biggio. Trent Grisham, Zach Gallen, Jesus Lazardo, Grinky, and Juan Soto. Coronavirus himself. All right, next pack, we got a Rendon, AJ Puck, Jordan Alvarez for the Astros, David Dahl, and Runet Ordor. Really like Rudened. Gavin Luck for the Dodgers. I'm really mad at you and with more. <laughs> Congrats, buddy. That's awesome. Mike Trouts. That's why I wanted Mike Trouts. That's awesome. Kasten Hayura. Adam Hasley. That's a great box right there with Gavin Lux. Congrats. Josh Bell. Alex Young, Simeon, Trevor Bauer, and Mikolas. I'm really hoping we can get some more parallels out of this. Eugenio, Flaherty, Demerit. And there he is, Lewis Robert for Craig and Justin Dunn behind him. So we're going to have to lay these out. I think that's a pretty good photo right there. And we haven't even gotten to the parallels yet. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Alberto Mondesi, Peter Alonso, Price, and Mike Yastrzemski. Nice for the Mets. Yamamoto, Masahiro. Astudio and Xander Bogarts, mega deal contract, lifetime Dodger. And that's our, uh, our refractor. Willie Adamas, Kyle Schwarber, Keen Wong, and Javi Baez. Michael Chavis, Brandon Belt, Mookie Betts, Starling, and Chris Bryant. All right, so if we hit any of those guys in either of these two cards in here, um, we'll have done pretty well. Bobby Bradley, uh, Tommy Pham for the Padres. Congrats to the Padres. Jose Barrios, Polanco, and Ciarte. JT Real Muto and our gold. Dansby Swanson for the Braves. 39 out of 50. Congrats to the Braves. All right, so between these cards, what is that value right there, guys? Uh, I mean, how much is this Luis Robert going for right now? $300 right now for this just one card. And that's the base. And Aquino to go with it. I mean, this, I wouldn't be surprised if this Nico Horner was 50 bucks. Jordan Alvarez must be $50 as well. Gavin Lux, I saw somebody pull a gold Gavin Lux earlier. Uh, that's probably a thousand dollar card. Um, that one, I don't know, 150 bucks. Just guessing. That's a pretty good box right there. Congrats to everybody. I think we got everything that we could possibly get out of that. Unless I'm forgetting somebody that we didn't get yet.
Oh, the box hopper. Wilson Contreras. All right, I'm gonna get this to the random real quick. Uh, we'll do this again for box number two. Oops, roll again. Four times. Here we go. One. Two. Oh, come on, mouse. Three. Four. Four times. Yankees down to the Royals. Grab our list here. All right, here we go with the teams. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, and four. Antoine down to Rose. And here's your teams. All right, so we got the White Sox goes to me. Uh, hopefully, we'd get another Luis. Um, Reds to me. Cubs, Lopacito. Uh, A's to Lopacito. Astros to Craig. Dodgers to Sold 9.5. Uh, Angels to BFOS and the Dodgers goes a soul. Again, I'll trade uh, any of my teams for the Dodgers or Angels, um, the Red Sox, Ray, uh, Tampa Bay, Cardinals, Giants, Reds. <laughs> uh, no, we, we will not do that. Soul, you got the Dodgers. Congrats. I hope you do as well. It's a really small checklist, so I'm hoping we can do that all again. Uh, does anybody want the Reds uh, for the Angels or Dodgers? Well, obviously, I'm not going to get the Dodgers for the Reds, but Angels maybe? BFOS, you hear? Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Anybody else want to trade any teams? We didn't hit any Bichettes, did we? That was probably the one card we were missing. I was wondering what we were missing. All right, guys. Let's go forward. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully, we can get a, a really rare parallel. Start with the box topper this time. Maybe we'll get some better luck starting there. Nolan Arenado for the Rockies. Pack one. And we can wrap this up before the Dodgers game starts.
Shohei Otani for the Angels, first card. Altuve, he cheats. DJ LeMahieu. Carter Keeboom, Walker Bueller, Glaber Torres, Ramirez, and Freddie Freeman. Isan Diaz for the uh, Marlins. George Springer, he's also a cheater. Nelson Cruz and Alex Bregman, he's also a cheater. Arolas Chapman lifts weights. Zach Collins, Willie Castro, and Hyunjin Ryu. Junior Fernandez, Javi Baez, Samarja, who's still in the big leagues for some reason, and Sin Chu Chu. Not the greatest box so far. Um, JD Martinez, Kirby Yates, Minter, Yu Chang, and Blake Snell. This is ugly so far. Lorenzo Kane, Ronald Acuna Jr. The Braves and Brandon McKay. There we go. JT Realmuto, Blackman, and Boba Shett. For the Blue Jays. Josh Reddick, DD Gregorius. Victor Robles, Max Muncy, and Kettle Marte. All right, we've gotten all the the bad cards off the checklist, so let's get some good ones now. Soroka, Josh Bell, Wilson Contreras. Alex Young. Bruzdar Gratterall and Gary Sanchez. Trey Turner, Corey Seager, Eloy Jimenez, Austin Nola. Tim Anderson, Paul Goldschmidt. Corey Seager. Corey Seager's going to be a future Hall of Famer. Dylan Cease, Kyle Lewis, Devers, and Tommy Pham. I'm pretty disappointed with this box so far, guys. I mean, uh, probably the worst box I've seen so far. Uh, but we have room to be surprised. So Dustin May, he's getting the start tonight. Bryce Harper. Francisco Lindor, Ryan Braun, Yelich, pool holes for the Angels, and Seth Brown. Down to two packs, boys. Oh, we got a black. Trey Mancini, Mitch Keller. Dwight Smith, Brian Reynolds, Guriel. Manny Machado, God, that was an absolute garbage box. Start with our silver. Kevin Newman. Willie Adamas. Alex Young behind him. Our gold. Shohei Otani for the Angels. Oh, man. Nice card. Big hit. 10 out of 50. Very nice hit, BFOS. That's a big card. Ozzy Albies, Reese Hoskins, and... Ozzy Albies, Black Parallel. 
24 out of 25 for the Atlanta Braves. That is really good looking card. Uh, we got Bo was probably uh, the only solid rookie in that in that box. That was pretty uh, aggravatingly terrible. Morgan Freeman speaking. You listen. Bfoss, if you want to sell that uh, Shohei Otani to me, let me know. I wish we would have finished on this box. All right, you guys. Uh, that concludes tonight's break. Again, we got Mosaic coming up. Sweaty hands inside those gloves for an hour and a half. Uh, congrats to everybody. Um, some really nice cards came out of tonight's break. Um, sorry to those who didn't. Um, let's go ahead and do some giveaways. Um, if you had a bad break, um, if you didn't hit anything, um, go ahead and leave uh, drop it number five in the chat and we'll give away some cards. Oh man, you guys are so mad about your cards. <laughs> Not five five, just a five. Yikes. Alright, well we're just gonna do giveaways on um here, actually. All right, here's what we're going to put on the table. How many do you want, Raul? This is all I have left. I've only got 100 left. Is that good? All right, boys. So we got a few cards here. Uh, Cam Reddish, um, rookie ticket. Uh, probably the best card that I'm going to give away. Um, two color a patch. Aaron Nola, Carlos Correa, Jacob Degrom, black border jersey. Um, 
18 out of 50, Osmani Grandal, Josh Donaldson, Shin Chu Chu, a couple of those things, David Bodie, Benintendi, Lou Gehrig, uh, Edwin Encarnacion, National Treasures Bat Relic, Strowman. Uh, and then for basketball, we've got uh, some Bowl Bowl cards. Davin Reed, Rui Hachimura, Brandon Clark. Uh, that one didn't mean to have another one in there, or that one. Sorry, guys. Can't do those ones. Um, all right. And then we got uh, Devin Reed, Hachimura, Clark, RJ, RJ, Steph Curry, Jackson Hayes, and Brandon Clark. So I'll put these in piles. Five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. All right, so we got five stacks of five. Let me mix these up. I've got five stacks here of five cards. Let me get rid of this thing. So what I'm going to do is I want to random off um, your names. And then each name that comes up, I'll give you a random roll. So if you roll um, the first dice is a three. Actually, I need six stacks, don't I? Hang on a second. Let me get some more cards. All right, sorry about that. I got some more cards here. All right, so we got Tatis, Alonzo, Alvarez, Vladimir Guerrero, Bo Bichette, Glaber Torres, Michael Chavez, Robert Paulson, Glaber Torres, Shohei, Gavin Lux. Robert Paulson, Chrome, uh, Pistol Pete, and Shohei Otani. Just gonna randomize these things in here. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll make a last pile for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get some of these bigger ones in there. All right. 
There we go. So we got six stacks of six. So I'm going to roll two dice out of six. So I want to put each of your names in there. Uh, so we're going to start off with uh, one person at a time. Bear with me real quick. This is going to sound a little confusing, but uh, I just made it up. So we're going to go with this. All right. So the first person uh, that didn't have a good break, that didn't hit cards, is going to be Nishat Wu. Uh, I need your Discord username. None of your business. What's happening? Nishat Wu. All right, ST, what's your username? Your Discord name? I need your guys' usernames. Alan, Sneaker Tricks, Antoine. I know Antoine. All right, let's go. Let's start with Antoine here. So here, check this out. We're gonna randomize the dice here real quick. All right, so we're gonna roll two dice. So if we roll um, like a th like a three and a four, so we're gonna go stack three and then card four in the stack. Cool. All right, so you got two and a six. So we're gonna go. To, we're gonna go stack two, and then card six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got a Josh Donaldson, twenty-two out of fifty, uh, two thousand sixteen postseason preeminence for Antoine. Anybody else? Uh, your boy, uh, you weren't in the break, sorry. And with more, you hit that, you, you hit the black refractor too, damn. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Thanks for coming in. Um, Raul, um, let me, let's go ahead and let's do you two. Um, six and a one. Oops, sorry, I didn't show the list. Six and a one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Carlos Correa. He's a cheater. Goes to Harold Slaga for Harold. First pitch of the season for the Dodgers is a strike. Or second pitch. What the heck? Oh, it's a pitch two off the count. Uh, we got hey, anybody else in here from the break that. Because uh, I know not everybody got some good hits there. I didn't get anything good. Should I run a random for myself? Tom. Yeah, what'd you pull, Tom? Uh. <laughs> three bowl bowl. Here, let's run. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do one for you real quick, since you got three bowl bowl. Three five. Um. One two three, and one two three four, five. Jam Jamay Jones. Jimmy Jones. Jamay Jones. Here, I don't. I don't know if I, if you're gonna like that one or not. Let's go ahead and run that again. Five five. One two three four five. One two three four, <laughs> and he got another bowl bowl. That's the blue hoops refractor, I think. No, the certified, blue certified. <laughs> 
Uh, you're the you're the dark Jew, right? Tom. All right, let's go for Roberto Galvez. No, don't worry about it. Uh, two four. One two. One two three, and you came up with a Kesson Hira commemorative coin. This thing weighs like a I don't know, like four ounces. It's crazy. Oh, Rose. Yeah, I do that. Sorry. Craig, uh, did you just get here? You, did you miss the whole break? You had some good teams. Um, let's roll you up. 4-1. Uh, one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 on top. You just got yourself a Glaber Torres rookie card. For Craig. Very nice, Craig. Anybody else want a free card? That's in the break. Still 18 people in here. Sneaker, are you in the, the Discord? I'm giving away free cards. Does anybody want any? All right, guys. I uh, got a Gavin Lux sitting there, Robert Poisson, uh, Shohei Otani, Glaber Torres, all these rookie cards sitting here. Um, I guess I'll just keep them for myself. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, a lot of fun. Congrats to all the big hits. Um, Tatis Jr. Um, whoever didn't have any cards, when I'm going through sorting, I'll just throw some of those cards in your guys' deliveries, you know. You guys need to get something for that with those breaks, so I'd be happy to do that. Anyway, thanks a lot for being here, you guys. Um, yeah, that was the last break for the night. Uh, you guys have a good one, and uh, we'll see you next in uh, Mosaic coming up next uh, next week.